What's going on YouTube? Today I got another MLB The Show 23 video. In today's video, I don't just like to tell you guys how to make stubs, I like to show you how to make stubs, and I like to back up my claims. And today, we're gonna be backing up my claims. I said play BR as soon as it comes out, grind the program, and make stubs, and that's exactly what we did, and we're gonna finish it off in today's video. Let's get into it. But before we do, if you guys like to know how to make stubs, how to gain XP fast, and how to get Derek Jeter, Sammy Sosa, Chipper Jones and all those guys, no money spent. Go ahead and subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and don't miss any of my videos. Let's get right into it. So as you can see, we have 99 BR points. We are one way away from a flawless reward, which is gonna be King Griffey Jr. As you can see right here, his price has dipped because obviously I worked when this card came out, so I could not grind it day one. It's taken me two days to do it. We grinded for about three hours last night. We have grinded for about four hours tonight. So that's around seven hours of grinding. This card is still going for close to 190,000 stubs. Rough or 180 is what it says right now. So if we can get 180,000 stubs for six hours of grinding, that's pretty good in my book and we'll take it. If you grinded day one and you got this card yesterday, it was going for upwards of 500,000 stubs. So if you had the seven hours yesterday to grind for this card and get it, you could have made 500,000 stubs in seven hours if you got this card yesterday. Just, I mean, it shows. I mean, the market doesn't lie. It was 500,000 stubs yesterday. If I was at home for seven hours, I could have got it yesterday and sold it for 700,000 stubs. Unfortunately, I had to go to bed and go to work the next day, so I could not do that. But for seven hours of grinding, you could have made 500,000 stubs. That's roughly around 80,000 stubs, 70,000 stubs per hour. That's worth it. Just got to grind. So we're going to try and play our very next game and win our very next game. If we don't win this next game, we got to play another one. But we're going to get this win in this video. And then we're going to get Ken Griffey Jr. And we're going to sell him. And then we'll buy him back when he's like 50, 60K. Because we know he'll be around 50 or 60K eventually. We'll bow him back when he's cheaper. No biggie. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. That's gone, though. Let's go. Three nothing, baby. Let's go. We got this. This is the game, boys. Come home, Griffey. Come home, Griffey. I can smell ya. Right on top of it, but right down the line. And then Joey does that. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's eight nothing. That's a great, that's even a better swing right there on an outside pitch like that. Jim Edmonds is going to come back up. Is that gone? Wow. What a swing. That's gone. Woo. Little Jim. Ah, there it is, boys. There it is. Jim Edmonds parallels. Alice Verdugo parallel. We have our flawless reward. Oh, and we get a 10-pack bundle. First, our flawless reward. We got Vita Blue, 172. We got Jorge Posada, 172. And then we got King Griffey Jr., 188. Who do you guys think we're going to take? King Griffey Jr. We're going to go ahead and put him up for 188,000 stubs. That's how we made some stubs in MLB The Show 23. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of these packs. See if we get anything juicy from these. Nothing in the first one. Nothing in the second one. All right, so we're at 104 stars in the BR program. We get 5,000 XP right there. You guys get to 150 because you get another 10, 30, 30 packs. You get three 6,000 stubs and 31 packs if you include the ball in. Definitely worth it. This is our journey. Uh, we got the 4,000 PXP in a single entry. We got the 50 total bases in a single entry. We got 15,000 parallel XP. We were very close to 25,000, which will help us get to that, that uh, 150. We got 30 extra base hits. We got 30 strikeouts. And then for our missions, we completed Lepets, 500. We completed Sogards, uh, 500. And we completed a Galermos, 500 PXP for the silvers. For the golds, we completed Wade, Stubbs, and Verdugo. And for the diamonds, we completed Tejada, Halls, and uh, Willie. So we completed nine 
at nine, yeah, nine player missions for PXP, and we completed all the BR missions besides the 25,000 parallel XP. And I don't know exactly how many games we won. I think we had 30, we had 45 games played in our last BR. So if we go look at standings, I can actually tell you based off of uh, last seasons. No, because I played another game and always went flawless. So I really can't tell you how many BR games that we played to do this. But we just played BR. We won some games. We lost some games. I can tell you right now, the most wins we got in a single entry was six wins. That's the most wins we got. Most of the time we got five or four and we started. It was pretty sweaty. A lot of good teams out there. So, I mean, especially when the BR program just comes out, everyone's going to be trying to go flawless. Everyone's trying to do the BR program because you can make stubs doing it and it's very valuable. So if you guys have not grinded it, grind it as soon as possible. Or if you guys are like, oh, you know what? It's not worth it this time. Uh, the cards are already too cheap. Pay attention to when the new BR program comes out, season three, and do it then. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, comment down below how many stubs you got, how many stubs you made for the BR program. Let me know in the comments down below and any questions you have. And as always, subscribe if you're new. Turn post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.